What's up YouTube and I'm back again with the cat shirt. Let's go. Uh, so today's video we are going to talk about my six tips for getting on a preferred vendors list because as a wedding photographer, as a business, as a creative entrepreneur, creating those relationships and getting on those vendor lists are super, super important. And this is just one little segment out of my business section, which is one little segment out of my giant course, the Wedding Photography Masterclass. So make sure you guys check that out below if you are interested. Without further ado, enjoy this video on how to get on preferred vendors lists. Now, when it comes into breaking into a local market, it's really good to get on the preferred vendors list for all the local vendors. And you know what those local vendors are. They are planners, bridal shops, florists, and, and some of these are more important than others, mainly because the top three things that get booked the quickest are the dress, the venue, the photographer. And so you wanna make sure that you guys are on those preferred vendor lists uh, because you wanna get ahead of the game when it comes to that. Now, when we break it down, though, if you are going to invest time and money into a vendor, it has to be the right ones, the right ones uh, to get you where you want to be that have the right brides that you have uh, or that that you want and are the ones that are getting booked before you hopefully so make sure you decide accordingly and choose venues that fit uh, that target bride and audience let's dive into the eight tips i have on getting onto a preferred vendors list number one send the freaking photos okay i can't tell you how many times vendors are like i never get the photos from them i never get the photos from them the one great thing i love about tave so in the questionnaires that you guys should have downloaded already it has an opportunity for the bride to fill out her vendors with the email addresses and everything so all you have to do after the wedding or wherever whenever you send the gallery is send the emails to specifically the vendors so you can see that in this video where I slide down I push the people who it goes to and then I click on vendors and then it auto populates the vendors and then I have a template specifically to email the vendors on the photographs that they will be getting sent and my rules on that on posting those and all of those things. because guys this is the easiest thing to do and so many people don't do it tag the venue on social media is also really really huge because they look up that venue with the location services and things like that so that's really really key number two offer headshots to the staff i have gotten on so many preferred vendors lists just because when i first got into this area or was getting a little bit bigger i was like hey i would love to come to your venue i just really want to give you guys some headshots i didn't ask for anything in return i didn't say anything and i got on one of the most prestigious venue in charlotte's vendor list just by going and giving headshots i'd never shot there before I didn't shoot there like they just said hey we like this guy he did this for us let's add him to the preferred vendors list and I didn't even know about it number three never ask immediately sometimes I say not at all but I do think it's okay to ask because you have not if you ask not that is one of my big things but I will say don't ask off the bat because then your relationship with that person just becomes transactional it just becomes something that they think like oh you just want this out of them and they get, they're gonna want something out of you make sure it's an authentic relationship where you show that you really care because that's gonna translate into them showing they care about you and knowing that you're going to care about their clients and so make sure that you guys are creating real relationships not just asking to go on the preferred vendors list number four call and tour the venue like this is really awesome ask a ton of questions about the venue seem interested even if you're not um, make sure that you're doing those things and follow up with them to ask if you could do anything for them take pictures of the venue as you guys tour the venue and then send them those pictures later for them to use on their social media and on their website that is huge Number five, attend industry events. This is really key for building a lot of those relationships. Those headshots I set up with that venue, I met them at a local Tuesdays Together gathering, which is a kind of vendor or creative entrepreneur meetup hosted by Rising Tide Society. And so things like that, or the knot will come to the area and they'll do like a mixer. And so make sure you're meeting people, getting out there, building those relationships, because when they see that you're an authentic person and that you really care about other people and their, their clients, then they're gonna see your person personality and know, hey, this is the type of person that I want to serve our clients and our people, and they'll put you on that list. Number six, organize a styled shoot at that venue. So it's really cool to be able to, uh, to get in contact with that venue and then get in contact with a bunch of other vendors that you really want to work with, host a style shoot at the venue so that they see your work and then give them those images so that they have those images to post on their social media. We often forget that it's easier for us to get photographs than everybody else because we 
take the photographs. And ours are really good. So those flower people, those rental people, that venue, they want good photos. And so if you can set up a style, shoot with them, collaborate them with them, get to know them, send them those photos, you're going to build really good rapport with them. And they're going to want to add you to their preferred vendors list because they have seen your work and they know who you are. Number seven, don't take those relationships for granted, um, especially for us. So as we've gotten more expensive and as we've grown, we don't take those relationships for granted. And for people that send us venue or for people that send us clients, we take like we take care of them. One of the, So that venue that I took headshots for years ago, I recently just sent that girl a really nice Kate Spade purse because I knew she would love that. And because we don't take that relationship for granted, we want her to know that we really care about her as a person, not just as a business and not just as a partnership, but as a friendship. And that's really important. And number eight, give them an album or large prints. If you don't want to go through getting like a really expensive album or print, um, what we suggest is CG Pro Prints. CG Pro Prints is really awesome because they have like good to great, good to uh, it's not excellent. It's not, it's not the best quality, but they're above average quality canvases for really cheap, which is really great for us. And so we use them in our home and you can get literally, you can get a 16 by 24 shipped for $50 which is incredible. And so, and the quality is great. It's got a hard front and a hard back. Um, and so that's what we like to do. And so we will actually blow that up. We'll spend a hundred, two hundred dollars on a huge canvas, send that to the vendor or the venue. Um, it could be different types of vendors, whatever. Uh, and, and to put that in your marketing budget, because that is a great way for them to be able to show off their work along with your work. And they're going to reach out and you can totally put your logo on something like that. Uh, and so make sure that you guys are sending stuff out like that, because that is awesome. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. These are really, really awesome ways for creating relationships and getting on preferred vendors list. I hope this is helpful for you to start your business, to grow it and to meet some awesome people. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Psh.